2018 is here. Happy New Year. I really wish you the best year possible. The best year financially, the best year for your personal life, the best year for your purpose, the best year for your commitments, and the best year for your employees and your team. I really wish you from the bottom of my heart a fantastic 2018. What I am going to do for you is I am going to train you in some radically new approaches and breakthrough ways of doing business that's going to help you maximize your profits and your time. So you can use that time to spend it back on your business, think peacefully what you need to do, take the shortest way possible to make a lot more money and get a lot of time to spend at home. And that's my promise to you in 2018. Every Wednesday, I'm going to be in your inbox at the same time check it out. So this particular week, I want to talk to you about a very important lesson I learned a few years back, and that was monitoring two numbers. I was at one point only monitoring a quantitative number, my revenue. What's my revenue going to be? Hey, 2018 is here, and how much money do I want to make? Or what's my revenue target going to be? And that's good, and that is important, and you should do that. And so all my decisions were based on revenue. And all my decisions were focused on that because my mind was stuck on that. And what I had forgotten was that there was another number I should have been monitoring. And when I began to monitor, I began to see a 360 degree view of my business. And when I could monitor these two numbers together, I could understand exactly what's happening in my business and take better decisions because I was far more informed. I had the whole picture. And the second number that I wasn't monitoring that I began to monitor extremely disciplined was a qualitative number. So what do I mean by a qualitative number? What I mean in my case, it was customer service. I was using a particular customer survey system called the Net Promoter Score. was I adapted this big technique that huge Fortune 500 companies used to use and I brought it to the restaurant industry and what it pretty, pretty much I made it do was to give me a score from 1 to 10 of where I stand in the minds and eyes of my customers. Every day I would get a score. I'm today at 7.5, tomorrow I'm at 8 and what is my revenue for the day? So I was monitoring two numbers, not just one. When I was monitoring two numbers and I was seeing a relationship between my customer survey or what you can call a feedback score and my revenues, I started to spot trends. It was an instant feedback as to what I was doing. How were they accepting it? Did they enjoy what I was doing? Were they willing to pay more for it? Were they willing to come back more for it? It also helped me understand how much money I should be spending on, let's say, social media advertising or how much money should I be spending on creating a new menu or new promotions? Because maybe they don't want that. So I began to hear more from them and getting that in a numerical form. It's kind of different from the old way of doing it, which was reading all the feedbacks. And it's very different from what you're getting from your point of sale today. And I'll teach you this system through 2018. But I want to focus today on the importance of monitoring two numbers a quantitative number, which is your revenue and profits, and a qualitative number, which is, in my case, it was customer survey or a feedback score. And when I was monitoring both these numbers on a daily basis and beginning to see trends and beginning to see how they interact and beginning to interact with them and taking decisions based on a 360 degree view of the business, because that's what I got through these two numbers, what my customers were thinking, what my revenues are telling me. And when I began to take decisions, they were far more informed using these two numbers, a quantitative number and a qualitative number. So I encourage you in 2018 to not only look at a quantitative number, which is revenue, revenue, revenue or profit, and take all your decisions only in that direction, but think of what is the best qualitative number for your business and start monitoring that. You would know what that number is for your business. So I urge you to Focus on two metrics or two numbers, best to do it every day. 
so that you know what's happening in your business at any given time. Get a 360 degree view, take the right decisions that are the best decisions for your business. And that kind of increases the likelihood of you achieving all your targets because you're going to be not shooting arrows in the dark knowing half the story. This time you know the full story. So find out what's your qualitative number, measure that along with your quantitative number and have a fantastic 2018 and see you next week. If you are on Facebook, like it, share it, tag restaurant owners so that restaurant owners across the world can learn from this. If you're on YouTube, share it, like it. And if you're not on my subscription list, if you're not getting my blogs in your email every Wednesday, go and sign up on fnbbusinessschool.com. I can't make it easier for you. All this information is coming to your inbox. This is breakthrough techniques and radically new approaches to doing business. I come with a whole different mindset to show you that you can do business easier and more lucrative. You can work less and earn more just like I did. I bring you proven techniques, disciplines and habits. This is not up for trial. This has been proven to work because I have used it to scale my business. There are many things I have learned from large companies that have adapted to our restaurant business. Use them over time. And I share all that with you. It's coming to your inbox. Commit to reading that every Wednesday. Commit to it. Email me back. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next week.